a hero that secret runs a lot more than other teams do right now. They seem they seem to think it's a it's something EG was like first picking every game for a while. Hasn't been the case for some time, but still secret busts this out pretty regularly for S4. I wonder what happened with the Arteezy racer. By every player's understanding, he played the hero the best of anyone else. And uh, we just don't see it as much as before. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, at Star Ladder Season 10, he was talking a lot about how broken he thought the thing really has changed in terms of the hero itself since then. I think DP's a really good pick here, too. Yeah, um, PPD is going to be playing the Ogre Magi. It's not going to be an Ogre, a Fear Ogre like that first game. Something that I personally didn't like that much. So, uh, are we seeing some aggression here from EG? They've got a lot of heroes that can. Jakiro, Ogre, and Scarath, all extremely good starting from level 1. Take the fight early to that Terrorblade, do you think? Maybe they could. We really, we really haven't seen many people contest a Terrorblade in lane. Like, in the three. We in also the three. haven't seen many teams, like, do well when they just give them free fall. Uh, unless you have a specific draft to counter. Like, the Elder Titan Zeus earlier yeah, today, that's that. just designed to wreck a Terrorblade, but... Does EG really have the best solutions for Terrorblade this game? It seems like they're decent, but not not great. We see. Oh, nice picture in picture right there. Ooh, we actually have a uh, some game footage there. Yeah. Last time we had a black screen the first. <laughs> ay ay ay. Ah, uh, things happen. Production is hard. Yes, it is. Uh. They're the, they're the only guys who haven't gotten a break as well. The, yeah, the casters yeah, yeah. rotate in and out. Uh, the, that is true. Even the camera guys occasionally get to sit down. They get the three minutes of Twitch ads. It's like, <laughs> yes. Let's play ads. Our poor production team working like dogs. Mm -hmm. Of videos. As, as God calls them. Or who, who, I don't forget who it was that called them. Yeah. The videos. The videos. Uh, so, yeah. So, they are going to run the Terror Blade, it looks like, in the safe lane. Nothing too surprising there. The Brew is going to go top, though, so this will put our TZ man on the Death Prophet, so they don't get that Razor versus Brew matchup. Still, no big deal, but uh, does mean that this won't be quite as one-sided of a 1v1 in the mid lane. My question to you is, A, are Disruptor and in AA enough to zone out a Jakiro? And B, how well do these two heroes do roaming around trying to get guns? It's actually, I think, surprisingly uh, good. I remember Secret running this same combo before. I believe it was versus... Cloud9 in the Summit Summit EU qualifiers, but it's actually a surprising amount of damage. The Thunderstrike is a pretty good level 1 spell for yeah. a support, and Chilling Touch is very, very good. Um, so as long as you have like somewhat of a slow, or you have level 2 on him so you can glimpse them back, then you can get a lot of right clicks on due to their natural long range. Interesting. Yes, and most of, most heroes just can't trade with Jakiro. That's why he generally does so well in the offlane, is because he just keeps on hitting with liquid fire, but if you do that much damage early, then he'll be hard-pressed to continue going blow for blow. Mm -hmm. EG's ward, bottom ward gets dewarded, and that's going to be huge, because the supports will be able to rotate mid as much as they want, and they know they want this team. So th that will force... Um, sorry. Brewmaster to play way more carefully than they normally would. Simba posting up here for now. He's up against double melees, but one of them's the ogre, so he can just keep on clubbing. Not the not the most fun lane for the Tide, and I mean the main thing of course isn't really how his lane goes, it's going to be about the Ancients. And for now EG not warding those, not really doing anything to stop stacking. Bottom lane looked like they might try to go in here a bit. Yeah. Well, the glimpse is there and it's going to, probably going to be a first blood. Uh -oh. Universe down, not often you see him giving up first bloods. But, like you said, Ben, the, it's a deceptively high amount of damage. Yeah, you don't really expect them to do that much early game. If you're on EG, you're like, these two supports, whatever, they need level 6. But, yeah, the way that Secret runs it, it's very aggressive, and it's it catches a lot of people off guard. Yeah, it's going to be good for them. Kuroki is going to secure a lot of farm right now. They're actually pushing the lane at the moment, uh, because they know they have a double wave, and there's no way they can deny all this thing. Uh, knowing that Universe is not in the lane also might help that if they towers kill the crypts that's universe de being denied the experience universe isn't even going back to bottom lane no he's no no he's just rotating yeah he's going back to the jungle he's not going to even be able to stack right now it's not really the best hero to be going to the jungle at this stage of the game level one any range hero is a jungler <laughs> <laughs> if you can pull you can jungle. relatively speaking I mean, every hero can jungle. It's just how long it takes that, <laughs> that ultimately Do you determines. remember the jungle Rubik? Where you pull the creep... You uh, lift him up over the cliff, yeah. yeah. I remember Dignitas trying to do it in a, an elimination match at TI, and they screwed it up like three times. Yeah, they failed like two or three times. Okay, good. Like Fog, Fog was just here, but he walked away, so no. I'm not <laughs> embarrassing him to his face. 
Man, hey. Fog played so terribly during that TI yeah. match. Wow. Fog sucks. You're so cruel. He can't hear us. Yeah. It's okay. He, he's just learned to tune you out. Oh, see, by getting blocked here, a lot of people, a lot of claps, a lot of punches, and uh, he's gonna go down here. I well, think it was actually way too to who was doing the lifts, not fogged. But anyway, neither here nor there. They get the kill, Simba. Yeah, and uh, well, it's uh, one of laner for one of laner. End of the day. Uh, the only difference is that Kuroki is winning way more farm than anyone else in the game. Yep. Actually, and the scariest yeah. farmer. For sure. Not definitely. Brook gets farm anyways, right? You're something's worried about your terrible not getting that much early farm, but he is a okay number one in CS, nineteen for him. It you say that, and it, it is true most games, but there was that game S four had yesterday uh, oh, against yeah. Pichi where he 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 got absolutely nothing. I've never seen him being shut down harder on a brew, and yeah, you run it mid or, or so you run it safely, and you do guarantee a fast blink, and not having it that game certainly hurt them, but. We'll see how quickly it comes out and if it's going to be enough to slow down Kuroki. Uh, here's the thing, right? So Universe moved out of the lane. He's not there anymore. The two supports are not pulling, but they're still sticking around. Well, I think they want to. They might want to push this with this metamorphosis ready. Yeah. yeah. No, maybe not. I think you have to do something. Otherwise, your other lanes become too weak and you just pretty much waste two supports, getting levels very slowly and impairing the levels of your turret blade. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you were saying? Looks like they're going to go for the bottom rune. They snag an invis here. And the ogre will be the one who comes. But yeah, this is secret looking. Ideally, you get a pick here, and then you take that tier one with metamorphosis. Yeah, and uh, if the pick is going to be PPD, maybe. Uh oh. He is pretty tanky oh, at the same time, the though. Hand. It's going to be. Yeah, he TPs in time. It's fine. Top. And uh, bottom. To bottom lane. There we go. On to the ogre. The beast gets wrangled down. Good rotations around the lane from secret. and. This tower, if it doesn't die, will take a lot of damage. Unless EG bring in some serious reinforcements, there's though, it looks slated to fall. Yeah, there's way too many creeps, and the Vasilis are right on. So PPD's they... TPing back in. <sighs> it feels so suicidal. He does draw the aggro, but uh, this Terrorblade can still take the tower, it looks like. I think the reason why these two support heroes are really strong is because they do really well versus the high armor heroes that are very popular in yeah. the high physical mitigation. Like Tidehunter gets owned by Chilling Touch, as does uh, Ogre with his massive base armor. Yeah, even Jakiro is pretty beefy in that department, especially when you get that early rate of protection. Or two. Or three. <laughs> <laughs> Six rates of protection. Universe Why is actually not? level three from going to the jungle five minutes into the game. That is more than some of laners get in a situation like that they had down at the bottom. It's, it's definitely about the best you're going to get with the start that he had, but... That said... How's the stacking going on secret side? Have they stacked any Ancients? I think the supports have been far They've too They've just busy. been bottom, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, he did try to stack his own Ancients, actually. He was moving through there right before the two-minute rune spawn, but I think he was just like a second or two late. Mm. Yeah, S4 might need to help him out in that regard, just so somebody can catch up. He's level two. It's... You know, not ideal. And nope. we, we've seen them stack Ancients time and time again to catch up. Yeah, he's starting to bully him a bit. Does not have the split, though. He's very close. Trading with a, a Brewmaster is always such a bad idea. He will get always the first crit and the first evasion, so... Sad, sad time. Th it might smoke after this. No. Actually, Puppy's kind of low on mana. Mm. Oh, there is a region. There, there you go. And he's gonna get all the balls. Probably you'll give one to Puppy, right? You're a sport. The power of friendship. No? No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Just sure. the regenerate. Wait, do both of them have bottles? No. No, no, he, he passed in the bottle. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then he used the regenerate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. I was like, how many bottles? That is definitely it? not a particularly common pickup, though. Getting an early bottle on Disruptor, but I I think out of all support players, no -Tail's probably the one that uses bottle most frequently and, mm -hmm. and perhaps most effectively as well. Yeah. How do you feel about S4 playing the Razor? Is, is Razor an S4 hero? Yes. Razor, DP, Brew. Yeah. Zeus. Mm -hmm. He plays he's a lot. Yeah. He's. I, I would say it's one of his better heroes. The ones that I. Uh, you would see like Quas Wex Invoker very popular among some teams, but for Secret, I don't think it's that popular. As far as Invoker is slightly worse than his uh, other heroes. I see. These Man, uh, look five at stack? those stacks for EG. They got their ancient stacked up, the gigantic big stack, and either the Brew or the Death Prophet. Most likely, the one who's going to take it will just get a lot of farm there. And I think we may see EG with the Bloom coming fairly soon on Fear. Uh, as well as that Death Prophet getting her first item, well, they're going to be looking for something. Yeah, oh, die. 
And how do you stop it at this stage if you're secret? You, do they have Ice Blast anytime soon or Disruptor ult? I don't think so, and with the Tide having this slow to start, it's like going to be tough five to on uh, Disruptor and probably level, level 4 on the Ancient Apparition. So it still looks like that prop's taking out the stack right now. It's a lot of money. Yeah, Jakiro just Hold assisting on. here, and that's gonna it's also going to help Universe a lot with his level, so this is pretty big. Yep. Yeah, this is something that they really needed. And again, we saw the uh, High Hunter struggling with the levels. Universe said, you know what? Screw this. I can't do anything in this lane. Might as well just farm the jungle. He gets level 5 out of this, and uh, he helps clear the stack, which is pretty good for a TZ. They're going to be scary with this first push, just because of how slow the Tidehunter start has been. And uh, He's Breaker second to last in networks. Look at the Tidehunter. <laughs> And I think there's... is anything stacked anywhere in the jungle? I don't think so. No. No? No? Nope. 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 GG. <laughs> Simba's pretty sad right now. <laughs> Normally that's something Secret I think do a better job of than almost any other team. It's just... <coughs> making Please sure that back. Simba has stacks to go to to catch up in his economy, so no matter how slow of a start he has, that's why you see him come, you know, the 15, 20 minute mark. It looks like he basically had a good time in the lane because yeah. of that. Yeah. And he's got to start now. Well, he's level 6 on Disruptor okay. already. And they get... Oh. They catch okay, out our TZ here. Static system. Storm to start it off, and they will manage to secure that kill. Down Big Daddy being turned on silence, then nuked a bit further. They chase in. Oh. Remaster split online. He just needed a bit more money. He's going to throw it out now at S4. No chance to fight. It will end up going down at the same time. Big Daddy also will pay. So, in the end, a two for one, but they get the death profit kill and they do force out the Brew split. Question will be now can EG take a tower on the back of this? No, without exorcism. That was huge that they were able to burst her down before. She really needs Yules to prevent that sort of initiate. Well, not even before, he actually managed to pop the Exorcism, and that's a terrible thing, because if he hadn't popped it, they could have it now, they yeah. could push and get it. But because he popped it and died immediately after, it's the worst of both worlds. And that's supposed to be a really big window for EG, because Tidehunter's nowhere near level 6, and Ice, H Apparition doesn't even have Ice Blast, and it's before the point where Terrorblade really comes online, Razor doesn't have his first combat item, like probably the, the BKB, Ags, something along those lines, but... They really are not at a strong stage of the game, but Dyer's trading like that, baiting out the Master Ult and the Exorcism, very big win for them there. Yeah. We are now, right now, now going back to the lane, just trying to make sure that Ty Hunter doesn't have that free reign to get to level 6. And uh, PPD is going to rotate a little bit middle, trying to soak some experience out of S4. Seeing by just TPs away from Fear, and Fear is going to keep farming the safe lane. EG will make the, the long journey to bottom lane. They're going to mosey on towards that tower. Exorcism not online, but they do have liquid fire when they need it. And they will oh, try PPD. to find a kill here on PPD. Manages to TP out good decision making under pressure. And now Bluppy could be next, being chased out, pursued by Zai. Cold Feet not going to proc, and down he'll go. But that illusion from Terrorblade is on the chase. Pretty squishy this early on. Not going to accomplish too much there. Yeah. And now they can maybe take this tower with Universe, who has Liquid Fire on level 3, I want to say, or 4. Yeah, so taking this tower, th if they can get the tier 1 mid, then Roche is just a freebie, almost for EG. Unless the Tidehunter is a Blink Dagger, like, how do you really go into the pit as Secret? That's going to be very difficult, so Liquid Fire, Exorcism, really strong there. But Secret do take down the tier 1, and they kind of wrest map control away from EG. And uh, Ticket seems to want to be pushing. No? Okay, they did uh, just drop the illusions and just rotate. RTC and Universe are thinking, well, we have Exorcism right now. We might as well try and push, but with all these rotations, they know they back, see. though. Uh-oh. We've okay. seen this one before. RTZ with the early Exorcism. Now glimpsed even closer, and, well, Ooh. those end up just walking away. But it's an Exorcism forced out for very little again. Yeah. That is not the value that RTC wants to have out of that spell right now. It's not accomplishing much, it's gonna farm a little bit of the jungle, but uh, that is going to be it. Kurogi is starting to snowball. Look at his net worth. 7k. Hasn't died, hasn't been contested whatsoever. Get him on the, the mini cam here in the corner. Yeah. He's been farming ancients, he's been getting runes, and uh, just a little bit of extra golden experience there at the bounty. Nice bottle passing. Yeah. Secret are so they're, they're so good at sharing with each other. Mm. So I trying to get a kill on Zima, but not enough, and uh, he might be in a problem here right now. Big Daddy with the ex oh, here comes the glimpse. He's totally 
Fine. <laughs> Here, run that way instead. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll go that direction. That's he fine. Just ravage for that kill too. They don't have exorcism, so I think it'd be okay for him to trade cooldowns right there, but maybe not. He was against the support. He's, so. he's putting a little engagement level, here down in the radiant jungle. They deploy a brewmaster split, trying to focus Kuroki down, uh, but this does not look like it's going to happen. Managed to get off a of sunder here a bit earlier, and. Well, now Static Link going onto that Earth Panda, and they'll try and just protect Kuroki. That should be fine. And oh meanwhile, no. here, he's overextended. He'll end up not only failing to get the kill, but then loses his life to boot. And, well, this it goes to the Disruptor. 13-minute Manta Terror Blade. So, yeah, you can't kill that with a level 1 split ulti. They don't have that much burst damage either, unless they hit a Mystic Flare. Yeah. It's going to be tough to bring him down. Mm-hmm. Universe doing universe things. Uh, this is actually very helpful for them because he will be able to take the tower slowly Radiant one by one without much help. And they're going top actually, and they're using the Mystic Flare. Top, 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 top. It's okay. We got we got it on the little cam. <laughs> we actually turned it off right as he died. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. And uh, yeah, they get a tower and they get a kill on Simba, which hasn't had a spectacular game so far. So no ancient stacks. What's going on? Is this secret? <laughs> it's confusing. They didn't stack the regular jungle, they did not stack the Ancients at all. Yeah, it's a bit surprising to be honest. Oh, a TC might be probably he's silenced, he gets the Ice Blast, he gets everything in the face. And they might go for PPD as well, but no, PPD just runs way too fast and uh, they will decide to push instead. Another death for RTZ is Kuroki, big bad and in charge, will just barrel down the middle lane. Net Worth was dipping a bit in favor of EG after that tower kill, but the Terror God is in the house. Very strong at this point, and with the Manta, you can't rely on that silence from Skyra to keep him in check. Yeah. This will continue to just force this tower. It will not be denied the last hit even going to Kuroki, of all things. Everything looking good right now for Secret. Yeah, EG firmly on the back foot. That terrible is already way too big, and they have no immediate answer, so... They have to play around him, they have to try and avoid him. Universe Ice Blast coming down the middle lane, it looks like. Ooh, well... Kapow. Kapow. I think he was looking for uh, the ogre, perhaps, but... Hmm? So finally, Arteezy has the Yules. He needs this, like, immediately after he gets glimpsed to just stay alive during a kinetic field. The problem is they don't really have any frontliners, too. Panda can't really go in, because if he gets Static Storm or Ravage before his Brule goes off, that is a lost fight. So maybe if he can, uh, if he can get a quick quick split, but that's very, very risky. PPD, he's not farmed enough as the Ogre to tank up, and they just have so much damage from long range, too. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe if the Brew got a BKB, but he's got 200 gold right now, so that's not happening for a long time. Definitely not, so... Well, there's your blink for the Tidehunter. It's been a slow game for Fly, but he still picks it up, and can look to be an impact. We might have a fight in the Radiant Jungle right now, a bit of a skirmish brewing PPD. Just show up, poking his head down the tree line, letting us for no. Hello, I'm here. Just making sure they know what they are. Right? So, uh, they are seeing so many heroes here in the jungle, they decide, well, we'll not push right now. And we'll rather actually go for Kuroki, and this is a big kill for them because they everyone, finally found him. Oh, Ravage is going to go on Artizi. Artizi silence. Nice heal. He's going to dodge. But is it going to be enough? He's taking so much damage now. He falls, and S4 wants to chase. Can they chase Universe? Universe will walk away. PPD being the bodyguard there, just everything goes back to normal. Getting the Terror Blade kill, that's that's crucial for EG because he was completely out of control. With that, still 3.5k ahead of the enemy Death Prophet. That's with the death. Yeah, Papi is going to get silenced and punch in the face a lot. Uh, this might be problematic. I think this is a solo kill from Zai. Yeah, 1v1 with full mana. Skyrath Mage, pretty legit damage support. He could have just TP it out right there. Uh, Skyrath didn't have his ulti. First oh. slit is forced. It's only for Big Daddy, it looks like. Do they get anyone else here? Cyclone does go into the Razor. Big Daddy being surrounded and pounded by these Brulings. We'll end up falling. Now what? Not sure if they get us. So. Secondary Boulder Toss coming in, but there's not much follow-up. And while that's happening, top lane. It looks like your Skyrath Mage will end up going down. They avenge their oh. fallen comrade in that lane. I'm confused about this buyback. Okay, maybe they can get Fear. Yeah, this Big is long range glimpse onto him. Fear trapped down the kinetic field. This disruptor play. Big Daddy really setting things up here. He's looking for another glimpse. He's got it in eight seconds. Can they keep eyes on PPD? Well, oh, it's Big Daddy, Daddy wants it. Can probably see him. He's yelling. Yes. How fast is PPD? Click on PPD. Oh, he's faster. Much faster. Oh, gets the vision. No. Oh, no. Just not enough. Just not that enough. tree. 
saved his life. It was questionable whether the buyback was worth it. They got a brew, but Bruce Split's already down, and he was actually making pretty good headway on his scepter or blink or whatever he wanted to go. He had like two, uh, close to two thousand gold before that. Now he's only at like eleven 1 hundred. Hmm. Well, in any case, it paid off, and um, the universe right now also has a yield. With the universe being able to initiate, it's going to be much easier to set up stuff. Uh, you can't manta out of. Um, Use uh, ice bath. You? I don't think so. Meaning, without a BKB, it might be the lockdown they need to take out the terror blade. But maybe I don't know. I would. You can BKB out of it. So yeah, yeah, you definitely can. So you maybe you can manta. You can do a lot of stuff that is instant cast, but I think manta has a 0.1 second cast time or something. Mm. So I'm not too sure. Would like to see it. Yeah, it still will be very helpful against the Skyra silence in particular. So we'll mm -hmm. probably see that one come to play. At this point in the game, Secret still farming really well on their two cores, the Razor and the Terror Blade, but it's going to be a while before Fly has his impact, and that will mean EG should have a pretty substantial opportunity for team fights with the Brew Split, the Exorcism. Once DP gets that first real tank item, I imagine we'll see a BKB. There's a lot of nuke damage coming out from Secret. What's RTZ going to go for? There's no clear targets right now, and... Uh Secret is conglomerating towards the top lane. Oh, they're gonna get the disruptor here. Silence? No, he actually gets to pop this ultimate before. PPD is gonna TP away and uh, Artisi just doesn't want to fight. Man, the plays from P P or, uh, rather from Big Daddy is he will now glimpse back Artor. Try to chase him down with this razor and support puppy Puppy's also here. turning the prey. No more ice blast. Doesn't have the negative earn charge. He gets pounded by a mystic flare. Turned on and brought oh, down. Nice. Now the death profit ult. He's going to end up surviving. Turns it against this fort. Kills him off. Secret get overly aggressive. Don't respect him. And everybody barely surviving for Team EG. Nice and nice from Simba getting there on that tower. At least a little bit of something going Secret's way. This was actually a bit surprising because Big Daddy seemed to have the situation under control. He was too greedy. He yeah. glimpsed back Arteezy instead of the Ogre. Ogre was a much easier kill there. And also, where was Simba in that fight? Ice Path flying! They need AA to be, to be defending towers and they need the Tidehunter to be up there in front with Ravage. They're coming in hot! No, nope. oh. Zai's too slow. Hmm. <laughs> he knew it about It could have been amazing. Yeah, it could have been. Next time. Next time we got it. Smoke from EG, they're gonna try and get someone. They ping the jungle. They will find, first and foremost, are the, um, Kuroki. But Kuroki is alone enough to actually be got him? I think they are. If, if they can see him here, they might be able they're to. They're making the move on the mid lane now. Puppy trapped out the ice path there and he'll get yeah. clapped around. EG, can they make any moves off of this? No exorcism right now. Don't Kuro think we'll see anything too big. Kuroki realized it just immediately backed away. He's going home. The Illusion is still farming for a little bit. But what is he going for right now? Is he going to buy something? Uh, well, he has an ultimate orb and he has a full Skadi completed. 20 minutes into the game. Red Manta Skadi. Yeah. Wow. He's pretty fat. I'm not sure. I mean, he hasn't been participating in the fights that much. Once he starts doing that, I don't know what EG can do. Everyone will just melt away. There's not enough armor. There's not enough HP. They do wrap around here on Simba, but he goes forward with a Ravage as Arteezy manages to Yule's dodge it. Not so lucky was his other buddy, but they're all still healthy. Simba now trying to retreat his way out of here, and they go directly under the tower, committing heavily to this one. EG have already lost two despite that Yule's dodge, and well, let's see if they end up losing any more. Big Daddy's Disruptor will fall. Zai on the retreat out, so a two for one exchange thus far. Now bruised damage being sold, the plasma field thrown out, trying to clip him right as he returns to his normal form, but... What you know. is Zai doing? Well, he was like running to the north before, and I guess for whatever reason he decided to take another path into the trees. He goes force, low oh. ground, ice blast, kapow! Oh, 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 not enough! Connect. It looks like it was good ahead, but I guess yeah. he was just out of the AoE. Yeah, and he's gonna survive here. Uh, cheeky plays from Zai, and manages to survive and draw a little bit of attention there. Uh, this, oh, this is actually going to be fear, which blinks just away. Well, Ravage is down now, so this might be a good time for EG to look at... Well, at the same time, they don't have Bruce Split. I think with Exorcism here, they'll, they'll be tough to contest in the Roche Pit, so let's see if they make that move. Oh, Kuroki getting the double damage in the ball right now. That well, maybe, maybe now. <laughs> maybe now they'll be contested. Okay, yeah. Universe cannot do much here. And Kuroki just walks away, but doesn't care too much. 
That is the that is the rune of many wins on Terror Blade. Rune of Destiny. Yeah. Oh, he's going for a glimpse on the THC. Oh, some damage of Kuroki, but he still walks away with the Manta and the Scatty. He's way too tanky. Oh, uh, back Arteezy and still barely surviving is Kuroki. Turns with the Sunder, pounds in the Zai. Let's take that, you Scarath Mage. And well, so while that was going damage. on, a lot of fighting in the mid lane, but nobody dying as of yet. Big Daddy on the retreat out. Oh, the Universe. Yules, universe, Ice Path to follow it up. Got perfectly him. timed. And One more hit. See ya. So in the end, just the support for support. Mm -hmm. But Exorcism is being used, and uh, they rush into Roshan right now. Oh, I don't know. Can they really do much. this? Look how low the yeah, Ogre is. Exorcism's going to end. This doesn't seem like it's going to happen. They have su the sustain, but just not enough damage. Yeah. Without Exorcism, they are pretty lacking for physical damage. Yeah. And not only now, at every stage of the game. Unless the Brewmaster builds up like Carry, foregoes the Agni Scepter and just... Well, this is where they need Ogre to be the four and Skyrath the five, but instead it looks like Zai's getting the getting slightly more farm than the Ogre. He has double his net worth right now. They need Ogre to transition into a uh, a scepter, and without it, they are going to lack significant amounts of damage. Yeah. Well, as mentioned, it's a pretty much essential BKB game for Brew up against Static Storm. That alone is just too annoying to deal with. He's pretty close to a scepter, though. A s a Disruptor already has two of the pieces, which is pretty good considering his buyback earlier. Yeah. Uh, AoE, AoE Doom, in theory, can be a game changer. It is also very big compared to the normal uh, Static Storm. How much bigger is it? Uh, about 200 radius more, so 400 bigger. Wow. Yeah. That is pretty big. It does make a difference. Um, so Kuroki here coming top, making sure there's no one there. Send three illusions. Maybe people will believe the one. Same time, it looks like Secret making a move of their own bottom lane, as they do have three heroes rotating in. But already retreating out is your Jakiro. They want to take over their own jungle, and they'll bring Kuroki back to mid as well. So they kind of abandon their position up in the the dire woods and. Yeah, that smoke, about to wear off as they, well, not about to, but over halfway done as they started very far back behind their tier 2 mid. They will not find anyone because everyone from EG is already either base or top. So, not much going on from now on. Terribly needs a BKB too, I think. I'm yeah. not sure if he's going to yeah. get it now. If he gets an Aegis, I don't think he needs it, but it would be nice. They don't really have that much aside from exorcism. exorcism, really, yeah. Yeah, multicast potentially can kill him from 100, so... Can't feel completely comfortable with that. Wow. Well, but as you mentioned, the ogre is. I mean, I, if if PPD gets an eggs, it's not going to be for a long time. Yeah, this is one of the problems with EG as a whole is that uh, PPD never gets farm. Yeah. He's like he doesn't like to farm. Yeah. Most of the time, it works out if he plays like vengeful spirit. Um, but on a hero like ogre, you really want some items. Definitely. Uh, EG. Congregating on that top lane. Do they want to smoke here? Everyone's together. So it looks like they feel like they don't have enough to say. Well, Jakira going for a scythe as opposed to a veil. I think veil might actually be better for them. I don't have any BKBs yet. I'm a little worried about their ability to clear out the illusions later on as well. Like you've got some okay AOE nukes, but it's mainly just the Jakira who's got massive AOE. Yeah. Yeah, without him, it's going to be tough. Not even. Yeah, they don't have a support. They don't have like a lion with mana drain or hex or you know a pugna with the eggs. Nothing along those lines. So easy scythes. <laughs> That's yeah. Maybe they're just gonna get scythe refresher. Big smoke from EG. Heading directly oh. down the middle lane. They're gonna find out. Oh, only okay. only Capitan puppy. Capitan. Capitan down. I like how that sounds. Yeah, and he doesn't really care if he dies. I mean, sure, it's going to be annoying, but he's not a hero that needs to be back in the fight. Like, even if they engage a the fight right now, he'll revive, throw his Ice Blast. Not a big deal, as long as he tries to purchase his uh, item for Scepter before he dies. If he has the gold, then that's good enough. Yeah. And EG, just keep the pressure going mid, but at the same time, the secret also looking for this tower bottom, so... A two, p a two points of attack here, one for each team. You see No Tail trying to stop... Uh, Timba, Ravage on two, wow, actually hits everyone, the Anchor Smash as well, pops the BKB, Universe decided it's gonna die. Artisi pops the BKB, but Kuroki comes here, pops the Manta, pops the BKB, starts killing people. And this Look how fast the Brew split dies, Kuroki's just gonna shred through that, Fear has no chance, and well, at least the Death Prophet survives. Actually pretty difficult to chase her. 
uh, when you're in metamorphosis with that relatively slow move speed. But well, currently he's he's moving as fast as possible with this haster, and they're going to walk it directly to the Roche pit with no exorcism, no Bruce split. There's just no way EG could do a thing about this secret on the verge of a potential 3-0, just knocking EG down to fourth place, securing a quite a bit of extra prize money here at the Summit 2, and avenging themselves for Star Ladder Season 10. When your Brulings die out five seconds after you pop your ultimate, you clearly have a problem. You're out-damaged, outclassed, and outplayed. I mean, it's something Fear talked about in the cast yesterday. I mean, he's well aware that you, you, get, you play a Panda against Terrorblade, and if you don't dominate from early stages, your brew just becomes useless later on because of all the physical damage. <laughs> so, uh, I'm feeling like at this point, what do you do if you're EG, Ben? What's their, what's their game plan here? Mm. I'm not sure. That's, that's a concern. Yep. Well, like they can't really take team fights, right? The AAO just really just does so much damage to them, as well as, of course, Kuro. Uh, they have BKBs, but not that big of a deal uh, with Blink Ravage being the main initiator and then Ice Blast to follow up both of those um, at the start of a fight. Even if you pop your BKB later, you're still likely to die. And it's not going to save you from Kuro. Okay, puppy. Oh, so I'm gonna get turned on here though as the Razor will join the fray. He tries to go for this TP out on the low ground. Ain't gonna happen. And Icarus will plummet back down. It was a nice try. And at the end it was a one for one. Which EG will gladly take. Yeah. They'll but take they'll definitely take whatever they can get there. I mean EG I'm looking at them and I guess their only chance is to split push, but the Terrible is split no. push faster than them. They cannot take team fights, they cannot wait for late game. What else can they do? I mean, they're, they're out of options. They can't go for pickups right now because there's been too many wasted exorcisms, and a lot of it is just because Secret executes well and he dies, but also a lot of it is because, because EG just can't really take any objectives with it because they're not strong enough. They needed to take a Roshan out, I'd say, like much, much earlier, and then proceed to take down T2s and make Terrorblade feel somewhat pressured. And they really, they had the setup for it. They got oh, the really easy. fast tier 1 in the bottom lane. Uh, they could have used Exorcism shortly after that to take a tier 1 mid, instead it was blown on, and he ended up dying almost immediately afterwards, and then from there they just, they missed their timing opportunity, so it comes to a point where EG basically, if Secret play well, EG almost can't win. They didn't they have to make well mistakes. enough in mid, he died too many times to glimpse an AA ult. Part of it is that Disruptor pick, it's one of those heroes you just don't see him that often, yeah. so you have to change the way you play a little bit, and... It, sometimes it takes a few games. It's like playing against Sephirion, you know, you have to protect your courier a little more, be careful about not showing it on the map, and it's certainly something they're all capable of when they're well-versed in it, but it's been a while since we've seen Disruptor picks. But the Disruptor actually has the Nagging Scepter right now, which means that if, unless you pop that BKB super fast, you are going to get destroyed. There's no Yule saving you, there's no BKB, Manta, any item saving you. AoE Doom incoming. Oh, Suma in front, he gets off the Ravage, but it only hits the Scarf Mage, not really the best. And now the turn comes from the Exorcism, Simba just going in way too far, bites off more than he can chew, and Secret got a turn tail run. Chase. Do they, uh, does uh, Artisi still have a Yule? Yeah, he does, but he goes the wrong way, unfortunately, so... Yeah, looks like Secret are going to be able to split push to kind of buy themselves some time here. They pushed in the top lane, bottom lane, the Terror Blades got it nearly to the base, so... I'm not sure if EG can really punish that wasted Ravage. Yeah, it was a trade actually, because it was a Ravage for an Exorcism. Even though the Tide Hunter yeah. lost their life, it's going to be fine. Because without Exorcism, we already established that EG has no way to put any pressure yeah. towards Secret. That's certainly true. In theory, they should have been able to push a lot better, though, with the Hero. Um, but Jakiro dying at that early level 1 and then being forced to jungle also really hurt them because he can't harass Terrorblade at all. And Terrorblade, you know, sometimes you ideally be able to pressure him and make him use Sunder, you know, just to regain his HP to 100. But if he can just free farm the lane all day, there's no pressure coming out at all. He can go get away with his glass cannon build and waste no points in reflection, too. Yeah. And RTC is 0 4 6 right now. I mean, Very rarely we see him doing so poorly, but. It's a reflection of how the whole game has been. And a glimpse, he has a BKB, hasn't used it yet, now gets caught in the Static Storm. I don't know if he knew about the second Scepter, and he's going to end up shattering another big pickoff for Big Daddy. They chase forward onto Universe, bring him down as well. Metamorphosis popped up on the high ground, your Skywrath 
gonna have to retreat. Yeah, there's not much he can do, but I don't think they care about this Kara. They just want to go for objectives, and they're they gonna push go mid. mid. Yeah. Exorcism still cooling down. Not sure exactly how much longer it has left, but can't be too much. And secret. 40 seconds without the Death Prophet. Does have buyback. Forcing it out would still be a huge victory for them. And they're going to push on through. Straight down the middle lane. They get another glimpse initiation. It's oh, on to PPD. PPD. Tries to TP out. Nuh-uh. That's going to happen. Wait, what was like his BKP? Oh, wait. It's PPD. Got PPD yeah. I thought it was on Panda. Yeah. Well, now the turn. Trying to come back in. Fear will initiate. Gets that killer big daddy who buys back instantly. Oh. But they just... The brew is Truly just gone. unable to do anything. S4 can kill them off. The Terror Blade can. They're going to ignore him. Focus on objective secret. Just wrecking EG. Secrets are doing it. What are we going to go 3-0 right now. 17 to 17 is the score, but that GG. doesn't matter. GG. Well played. Secret is going to end up in the third place of the Sami 2. EG. They started off poorly. 0-3 on the group stage. They looked like they were coming back. But then losing to C9 and now to Secret. They're going to end up fourth place. Those supports played really well. Puppy and No-Tail first killing the hero, and then also Puppy tanked so many smoke ganks. Like, he tanked like three or four of them, which is pretty absurd, all yeah. things considered. And they were never able to get their eyes on a prize, which is...